If you want a sense that cyber terrorism or cyber warfare is going on, probably one of the most compelling examples is something that happened recently, which is uh, referred to as Stuxnet. I think I pronounced it that correctly. So what is Stuxnet? Um, Iran, for better or for worse, and I make no comments about the sort of uh, geopolitical implications of the situation, but at some point Iran decided that it wanted to enrich enrich uranium. I'm sure for uh, peaceful purposes. Enriching uranium is a complex process. So you have these huge uh, barrages of centrifuges, like huge rooms with these really complicated pieces of equipment in them. And those centrifuges are used to take uranium, which exists in nature in several different isotopes, and s essentially uh, filter it so that what you get out is the highly unstable type of uranium that you want to use for nuclear reactors or in certain cases for nuclear weapons. So that's my understanding of it. I am not a nuclear physicist. So I have all of this really complex industrial equipment that's required to enrich uranium. On the other hand, there are other countries that were not happy that Iran had decided to enrich uranium and they decided to do something about it. Now this is all alleged. There is no, the, the governments that are involved have never admitted this happened. Um, but the, uh, the story is that they created something called Stuxnet. So Stuxnet was a cyber weapon. It was a piece of software that was designed to infiltrate the computers that were running these centrifuges. So, um, you know, this is one of the signs that the internet has become so ubiquitous. You can't even enrich uranium without the internet anymore. So the centrifuges that it takes to do this complex process, lengthy process, are run by computers. There are these computers that have special controllers that determine how those centrifuges work. And uh, the, the story is that this was a, a joint U.S.-Israeli cyber weapon. So working together, these two governments developed a piece of code that would attack the computers that were operating these centrifuges. And the goal was to disrupt Iran's ura <laughs> uranium enrichment program. And what's, what's clever about this is they didn't do it, so enriching uranium takes a long time, it's very complex, um, and, there's, and it's hard to get right. And so there's the governments that have tried this have had had to develop over time experience with this process. And of course, I, I don't know if how much, where you know, Iran was getting the information that was required to do this, but what Stuxnet did is that it caused these computers to cause the centrifuges to behave sort of erratically. It caused just enough problems that it would really uh, cripple their ability to perform this complex industrial process, but not so many problems that it was obvious that there was some sort of foul play at work. So this computer program, the cyber weapon, um, was used and, it, and apparently it, it exploited several zero day exploits. So several previously unknown software exploits in some of the software that ran on these controllers and on other parts of the system. Um, it, I'm sure this was a very expensive process of developing this cyber weapon and that there were some very intelligent people involved. Um, and allegedly, it worked. So it was um, somehow, it was sort of uh, made its way into onto these computers. I don't know how that happened. There might have been some special operations involved in doing that. But once it was planted on these computers, it disrupted their operation to the point where over many years, uh, the uranium enrichment program just didn't work very well. But, again, it didn't look so broken that they thought that something was wrong. It just looked broken enough that they thought, wow, we're not very good at this yet. You know, everyone says it's hard to enrich uranium. Uh, maybe we just need no more practice. So I find this whole thing fascinating. I mean, you know, the geopolitical implications of the internet, of, you know, of the cyber, as we say now, I guess, um, you know, actually, you know, the, the getting to the point where I can affect the sort of trajectory of an entire country. I can disrupt a program that an entire country thought was really, really important through a very careful software exploit. And again, I don't know if this was carried in over the internet or not, but in this example of an extremely sophisticated cyber weapon and an example of what a really motivated government can do 
using computers and using cyber weapons when it is really interested in achieving a particular goal.